you ever been obsessed with something? Back when I was one and a half years old, I was obsessed with spheres. I used to say ball, 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 ball. I got a little daughter, Maddie, that's the same age I was back then. And she does the same thing, ball, ball. Anytime time she sees something round, she gets excited. One time I saw the Epcot ball at Epcot Center and I was like, ball, 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 ball. And then I got a little older and I got a little more sophisticated, right? When I was five years old, I was obsessed with the Atari 2600. This is how old I am. This was back in 1986, I'm 41 now. And the Atari 2600 was this little two-bit video game system that had blobs on it. But you could play Pac-Man, you could play q you could play Pitfall. I was obsessed with this thing and I didn't have a lot of boundaries around playing it. I played it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. One time I got in a fight with my parents and I said, you know what, I love Atari more than you, right? And then when I was 14, I got a little more sophisticated with my obsession and I started listening to the Beatles and I was really into the Beatles because I was a songwriter, I still am. I loved their music, I studied their music. I got to the point where I even had a Beatle haircut back in like 1996, which was not in style, but I loved them that much. And I was imitating their music. I got to the point like where I really, my room was like a John Lennon shrine almost. But at the end of it all, like our spheres and video games and bands, the thing to be obsessed with, well, we can be obsessed with God instead. In fact, scripture teaches the first few commandments are to put nothing before God. And if we make God this obsession and this addiction and the center of our lives, the one who created us, the one who breathed life into us, the one who gives us love and forgiveness through his son, Jesus Christ, I mean, man, there's nothing better to be obsessed with than that. And that will never run dry. That's something we'll never get tired of. That's something we'll never overdose on obsession with God. It's worth trying. It's worth centering all our affections on him because he's worthy of it all.